What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back today with Polish Pickup June to show you guys today. The theme is Weather Phenomena. This is the largest video I have ever made for Polish Pickup so far, so let's dive into it as I have so much to show you guys today. First up is Baroness X's Travel Lip Kit in the theme Pineapple Express. The inspiration for this is the Pineapple Express being a series of storms originating in the Hawaiian Islands. This little mini travel set will be $8.50 and there is no cap on it. Now there is a um, lip scrub, a Bella Balm, and a um, anti-aging balm as well. So here we have the Bella Balm. I want to note this one is very, very concentrated. So as you can see here, I just dabbed it and just rubbing it onto my skin, it gives a lot of product. So this one will definitely last you a super long time. It's very hydrating. Um, it's not really sticky, but it gives a really nice moisturizing effect on your lips. Um, just be careful not to put too much on. And here we have the anti-aging balm in um, a, this is vegan as well, side note. Um, this is in a sample size. This feels more to me like a traditional chapstick. As you can see here, it soaks really well into the skin and has less of a glossy effect overall. I've used both and the Bella Balm, I would say once again, go in very, very lightly. A little bit goes a long way. And then the anti-aging balm, I just used like a normal chapstick. And then here we have the hydrating lip scrub. This is in the scent pineapple and tangerine. And I want to note that the sugar scrub to this, like the grit is of the lighter variety. So you can see here in just a moment, I'm gonna put it on my hand. Um, it doesn't have that larger grit to it, if that makes sense. So um, more of a fine grit overall, very, very nice. I did use it on my lips and it's super, super nice um, and not harsh at all. When you rinse it off, it goes on um, and leaves this really nice um, moisturized feeling afterwards. So this, um, the trio does come in the holographic Mylar black bag that you're seeing here. Baroness X also brings us acetone antidote in Pineapple Express, and this is such a lovely pineapple scent for this much. The price will be $4.25 and there is no cap on this. Next up, Baroness also has a brand new product for us. This is Drying Drops in the Pineapple Express series in the scent Bora Bora. Um, the scent itself is a mix of sweet pineapple, acai berry, mango, tart passion fruit, yuzu, green apple, and orchid leaves. This one will be $6.50 and there is no cap on it either. As you can see here, um, I am putting it over Baroness X's polish for this month as well. Um, I did apply my usual top coat as normal and I'm going in and just applying one drop per nail. This does speed up the drying process very, very quickly and it leaves behind a bit of um, an oiled cuticle effect overall. So really, really nice and moisturizing on top of speeding up that drying process. And here we have Baroness X's polish for the month. This is Fall Streak. Described as a blue jelly-based multi-chrome shifting red, copper, gold, green with blue to purple iridescent flakies and sheer gold flakies. This one is intended to be worn alone, though as a um, side note, you can also wear it as a topper over um, a darker polish. So the inspiration for this is Virga, which is rain that never touches the earth and they are caused by violent downdrafts. The price on this one will be $11.75 and there is no cap on it. So the formula on this feels very medium to me. Um, the base is a definite lovely navy blue color. Um, it applies super opaque on the nail and the multi-chrome effect here mostly appears as what you're seeing here as that reddish copper appearance. On angles, you'll see the copper and um, gold and a really strong green on extreme angles as well. This one was um, a little bit frustrating as I tried to catch the shifts on my macro shots, but um, on my camera, it was being a little bit shy, but just know in person, this one is definitely very, very shifty. I had no problems with the flakes on this one and going in with my usual top coat, I had no texture either and I was smooth sailing.
Blush Lacquers brings us Midnight Moonbow. This is a charcoal navy toned base with a strong orange to gold to green shifting shimmer, linear hollow pigment, and hollow flakes. The inspiration for this one is a rainbow that appears at night. The price on this will be $12.50 and there is no cap on it. So the formula on this feels medium to light to me, however it builds up very very quickly. The holographic effect is super super strong and it's definitely of the linear type. That multi-chrome pigment in this one is absolutely beautiful. It's very shifty. In bright lights, you'll see it as this orangey, um, almost copperish type of color, exactly what you're seeing in the video. And on angles, you will see that shift come out to play. Um, I can see lime green, golds, oranges, and just strong, strong copper overall. Really nice. Um, this one does have a very, very strong glow to it, as you're seeing here. For opacity, I'm going to say between two to three coats, depending on how you polish. Though personally, I would recommend going in with three thin coats and you'll get that nice plump effect that I'm usually going for on these videos. Um, so as you can see here, just really, really nice overall. Very strong um, linear holographic effect. This one does dry down semi-glossy, so I would recommend any top coat and um, you're going to be just fine. Though personally, as you're seeing here on that full hand shot, I did use a glossy top coat and it really exploits that pigment as well as the holographic effect. Next up, we've got By Danny Viana. This is due on Sunrise. Official description is a pale gray loaded with hollow flecks and reddish pink to gold shifting shimmer. The inspiration of this one is Morning Dew. The price will be 12 and there is a 100 bottle cap in the US and a 4 bottle cap for the UK site. Formula on this one feels very curly like to me. It does apply very opaque on the nail. For this one I'm going to recommend two coats for opacity and as you can see here on that first coat, really nice coverage overall. Has a very buttery formula and really nice self leveling. Um, this is just a touch more gray in person. I do feel like the video is kind of making it look more white, at least on my monitor. So just know it is what I would consider a pale kind of dove gray in person. So those flakes behave nicely for me. I had no texture with this one either, and I would recommend a glossy top coat as this does dry down a little bit on the matte side. Next, we've got Cameo Colors Lacquers. This is Stand in Awe or Run. Described as a teal crelly full of copper, gold, blue, and purple shimmers, gunmetal and silver hollow micro flakes, aqua green, purple, blue, and orange gold crystal chameleon flakes, and lime copper blue color shifting flakes. Inspired by a Supercell, this one will be 11 and the cap is 100 bottles. So to me, this one definitely feels like a Crelly, um, builds very quickly as well. Really nice coverage overall in that first coat and going in with the second coat, um, full opacity here. So definitely this is a two coater in my opinion. Um, it does have a very medium feel, very rich and buttery on the brush strokes. I had no problems with the flakes in this one either and the shimmer here mostly will come off as a lovely pinky type of color. Um, I feel like on the full hand shot you can kind of see it a little bit better. This one does dry down a little bit on the matte side so I would recommend a glossy top coat to really exploit all of those goodies in this one. Next we've got Crystal Knockout. This is absolutely soaking wet. Described as a light pink to bright rose pink thermal with tons of golden shimmer and chameleon flakes in blue, green, purple, gold, and pink. This is inspired by It's Raining Men. The price will be 12 and the, there is no cap on it. So this is a thermal that is very, very reactive. As you can see, it's transitioning immediately as I put the brush to my nail. Um, it is loaded with all types of those lovely shifty flakes overall. Um, per usual, I give my bottles a good shake before applying. And as you can see here, no issues whatsoever picking them up off the brush. For opacity, I'm going to say between two and three coats, depending on how you polish. Um, I did feel like at two coats here, I was just fine. I do want to note that this one does dry down a little bit on the matte side as well. So once again, I'd recommend a glossy top coat um, to make all of that shimmer and those little flakes pop like crazy on the nail. So overall, the warm color is what you're seeing on my nail bed here. It's almost like a very warm, warm pink color. 
um, has a, almost like a golden lean to it and that's definitely probably because of the shimmer here um, but on the cold state which is what you're seeing on my free edge it's definitely a bit more of a cool toned um, definitely bright rosy type of pink so this one was really, really sensitive for me. As you're seeing here, this is not the coldest state I do want to note. So um, just throwing it out there, that's probably what you'll see. If you're warm like me, you'll get that nice gradient effect. And here, once again, going in with my ultra high tech hair dryer uh, technique, you can see that warm state come out to play. It's overall a very warm tone and that golden shimmer really brings out this glowy like effect. After top coat, I had no texture whatsoever here either. Next is Fair Maiden. This is Viral, described as a sky blue cream with orange to red to green shifting shimmer and iridescent flakes. This is inspired by the Beijing rainbow that broke the internet. The price is 11 and there will be no cap on this one. So this one to me is one of those tricky blues to photograph. I do feel like the video is color accurate. I do think that my swatches kind of came out a little bit blown out on that blue color. So please refer to this video for um, the color in my opinion. So here, the formula, once again, we have a really lovely Crelly-like feel here. It does dry down very quickly on the nail. I'm going to recommend between two and three coats for this one, depending on your nail length. Um, will depend on how uh, many coats you'll need, but no more than three for sure. As you're seeing here on that second coat, it has really nice self-leveling as well. In person, this is definitely a very bright, bright sky blue, really in your face. I feel like the video and my swatches are kind of downplaying that shimmer here. It's very, very lovely in person, um, though that blue is the loudest thing on the nail overall. So um, definitely check out my macro shot so you can see that shimmer. It's there in person and it gives a nice, um, very almost subtle pinky glow overall. Next we've got Girly Bits. This is Black Blizzard, described as a thermal polish that tr transitions from a dark gray in the cold state to a slightly silver gray in the warm state. Filled with green, pink, copper color shifting shimmer, delicate trans iridescent blue micro flakes, and larger iridescent micro flakes that shift in a glowy blue purple hue. This is inspired by a picture of a dust storm. The price will be 13, and there is a 275 bottle US cap and 25 bottle UK cap. So overall for on this one to me, it does have a bit of a jelly feel to it during application. As you can see here, this is another very, very sensitive thermal. Um, it was just transitioning all over the place for me when I was trying to swatch this one. Um, the shimmer is very strong here, I do want to note that, and it easily shifts over to a green in extreme angles. But the most interesting thing to me on this one is the flakes. They are of the medium to larger variety. They behaved nice for me, um, laid down nice and flat as you're seeing here, um, but they give this really strong glowing effect overall. I think this is one that you'll definitely be able to see better in person. Um, those flakes, I can see purples, aquas, greens, and blues on it in shifts of their own. And it seems kind of subtle in the video, but in person it gives a really strong glowy effect. So it does dry down a bit on the matte side, so I would recommend a glossy top coat to really exploit the shimmer and the flakes. And here I actually had to bust out the ice water um, to show you guys the cold state since I'm in the south in Texas and it's very, very hot here. So um, this way I feel like with this one it was being so tricky and only staying in the warm state, but it definitely is sensitive and I wanted you guys to see that. Here we've got Indie by Patty Lopez. This is a dark, this is dark energy waters, a royal blue jelly base with multi-chrome red, gold, green flakies, purple flakies, a shimmer duochrome shimmer and micro hollow glitters. This is inspired by an image of lightning over the ocean. The price is 12 and there is an 880 bottle cap on this one. So this one feels a bit on the jelly side to me during application. It builds up crazy fast on the nail though. I do feel like the video is being color accurate. I felt like my swatches were pretty color accurate, though leaning just a touch lighter. So once again, please refer to the video for a uh, better color representation here. This one is loaded with those color shifting multi-chrome flakes, as you can see here. You'll mostly see them as red against that lovely, very brilliant, um, rich royal blue in the background. So really nice contrast there. They laid down nice and flat for me. This one is crazy sparkly in person. Um, lots and lots of sparkly stuff to see here. It does dry down once again a bit on the slightly semi-satin-like side, not quite as matte. So personally, to really exploit those glitters, I would recommend a glossy top coat 
and you'll be smooth sailing. Really, really nice overall. And as you can see here on the full hand shot, lots and lots of twinkles um, in a really dense manner across the nail. Next up is Gior Couture. This is Sonic Rainboom, a jelly blurple aurora paste filled with chameleon and color shifting flakes. This is inspired by My Little Pony Sonic Rainboom. Price will be $12.50 and there is no cap on it. So this is definitely another jelly. Um, feels very jelly and squishy on the nail and it stays put wherever you place the brush. Now this one is opaque in my opinion between two and three coats. This is another one that's really going to depend on how you polish and whether or not um, how large your free edge is. So on this one I did take it up to three coats and I thought it gave me that nice plump look that I'm going for. At this point in the month when I was swatching um, I feel like my nails were a little bit on the longer side so I do want to know it, this one's really going to be depending on your nail length. Overall you're going to get a really nice jelly appearance. The Aurora shimmer in here and those color shifting flakes really pack a punch. They'll create a nice pond effect between your layers and you'll be able to see them in between because of that jelly base. So in person this one has a really um, strong reddish type of glow overall from that Aurora shimmer. Very very nice. Um, I do want to note that the bottle you're seeing in my swatches is a, is a mini bottle so what you will get for this one on polished pickup is the full size bottle. So I would recommend a glossy top coat with this one as well to really exploit that shimmer and the flakes and really get that nice sparkle effect overall. After top coating I had no texture with this one. Next is Lemming Lacquer. This is Dawn Rises, described as a dark blurple jelly with glittering blue shimmer, magnetic multichrome flakes shifting from green to gold to violet and red. So this one is inspired by Sun Pillars. The price is 14 and the cap is 250 bottles. So here I am applying the magnet on both layers. This one has a really rich formula. It's a bit on what I would consider the heavier side. The magnetic particles feel a little bit on the heavier type to me in my opinion. So what that means would be I would recommend giving maybe an extra 5 to 10 seconds when you are magnetizing your layers as those particles will take just a little bit longer to come together on your magnetic part. So in person this is definitely a dark blurple on the background and that magnetic multi-chrome pigment shifts between um, definitely mostly you'll see the green and gold um, and then you'll see that red and violet on angles. So overall I would recommend going in with two coats for this one. It is very rich so just be careful with your brush strokes and there's lots of movement to that magnetic pigment. I would also recommend a glossy top coat as this one does dry down a little bit on the satin side and you'll really get that movement with that magnetic pigment. Next we've got Moonflower Polish. This is Noche Eterna. Described as a black base cream with contrasting green gold multi-chrome shimmer for stamping and regular wear. This is inspired by Hurricane Maria's devastating effects on Puerto Rico. Price will be $12.50 and there is a 770 US bottle cap and 5 UK bottle cap as well. So here I'm showing you guys it what it looks like on wearing it on its own. Definitely a one coater, really rich buttery application. Um, please don't mind that little cotton uh, thread that we got there. I was in the midst of cleaning with cotton balls and this is why you don't use cotton balls. I digress. So here on the full hand shot you're seeing a glossy top coat. Um, so definitely one coater if you're wearing it by itself. And here I am going in with a squishy stamper from Lantern and Wren. And as you can see here, very nice overall. Um, no gaps whatsoever. Really clean stamping. I am showing you guys it over white as I feel like if you do use it over black, you'll get that multi-chrome pigment to show, but it is of the slightly more subtle variety in my opinion. So I wanted you guys to really see just how well the stamp itself comes out, hence why I did white. So I do have a glossy top coat over the stamps here as well, so you guys can see really lovely easy stamping polish overall. Next is Nailed It. This is We're Not in Kansas Anymore. Described as a blurple jelly base packed with red gold green crystal flakies, red gold aurora pigment, and settled scattered hollow. This is inspired by the tornado from the Wizard of Oz. Price is $12.75 and there is a 120 USA bottle cap and a 20 bottle UK cap. So this one um, feels, once again, we have another jelly here. And this is such a very flattering color in my opinion. 
Um, depending on whether or not you wear two to three coats, it will depend on how bright that base color comes off. Um, it's definitely what I would consider a purple, but I do feel like there's, there's a strong magenta undertone to this one. Um, and that could definitely be because of the Aurora pigment in here. I'm not sure, but I, I really feel like there's that, that undertone to it. So for opacity, I'm going to recommend between two and three coats. On my swatches, I did take it up to three coats, and you can see how much darker and more in your face it appears. Though here, as you can see on that, that second coat, I think it's pretty opaque. I did want to even out my nails as I do a apply to all four fingers when I'm doing these videos. So just throwing it out there, it's really going to depend on how you wear this one. So between two and three coats, and either one you'll be opaque and just fine. So this is positively packed with those crystal flakes. They will give this really nice, strong, warm glow overall. Um, this one will also dry down just a touch on the satin side. So I would recommend a glossy top coat to exploit those flakes and that shimmer. And it has a really strong glow overall. After top coating, I had no texture either. Next is Night Owl Lacquer. This is Violet Storm, described as a gray to violet base with bright purple shimmer, holographic micro flakes, charcoal flakes, and lots of blue and purple crystal flakes. Inspired by Purple Lightning in Clouds, this is 1250, and there will be a 350 bottle US cap and a 25 bottle UK cap. So this one feels um, a little bit on the curly side to me. Um, it builds up very quickly. It dries down very fast as well. So for this one, I'm going to recommend three thin coats and you'll have a really nice glowing effect overall. So the holographic effect here um, does give a very scattered sparkle across the nail and that shimmer is really, really strong. So the base color is what you'll see as that grayed violet, but the shimmer really has that pinky purpley type of glow overall. It's very pleasant and um, the formula stays put exactly where you put it. This one is also absolutely loaded with those blue and purple crystal flakes as well. I had no issues with them. They behave nicely for me. As you're seeing here, they're laying down flat. Um, no problems whatsoever. And this one does have really nice self-leveling as well. Though this one does dry down a little bit on the satin, kind of slightly almost matte side. So once again, I would recommend a good glossy top coat to really exploit that shimmer. It's very, very strong in person. And I would definitely classify this one as a blinged out neutral. After top coating, I had no texture whatsoever here either. Next up, we've got Polish. This is Petricor. This is described as a rainwater turquoise jelly with mixed holographic flakes and pigments and a mix of deep red to copper to green shifting multichrome pigments. This is inspired by a picture that Shannon took in front of her home during a flood. The price is $12.50 and there will be no cap on this one. So this is what I would consider a very um, opaque jelly-like feel in my opinion. It does really, really pack a punch for opacity here. As you're seeing on that first coat, you can barely even see my smile line. So for this one, I would recommend going in with two coats um, and you'll be good to go. This is really, really shifty in person. I just want to throw it out there. As you can see on the buildup, you'll definitely see that turquoise. It's like a muddy color of turquoise, in my opinion. That multichrome pigment really just takes center stage here, and you'll mostly see it as this copper red that you'll see in the bright lights, and on angles, you'll see that very strong green come out to play. This one is very, very um, sparkly as well from the holographic flakes, and I would recommend a glossy top coat once again to really exploit those pigments. Here we have Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is Light Pillars. Described as a purple leaning navy base in between a jelly and a crelly with a violet to blue to green magnetic UCC flakes, a mix of four crystal chameleon flakies and red to green shifting aurora pigment. This is inspired by a photograph taken of Northern Ontario and their light pillars. The price will be 13 and there is a 126 bottle cap on this one. So the formula on this one is another what I would consider a very opaque jelly. It does have a bit of a heavy feel on application though. Um, it is very, very complex. There's lots and lots of pigments to see here. So I do want to note the magnetic pigment in this one. I feel like it does have a bit of a heavier feel to it. So um, I would recommend leaving your nail on top of the magnet or 
over depending on how you use magnetics um, just for maybe a few more seconds to allow that pigment to shift over in person this is very blingy very sparkly really has a lot of depth to it overall um, I do feel like the magnetic pigment was being a little bit shy in my swatches so I do apologize about that I feel like on the video you're getting a bit of a better idea of what it's gonna appear like on your nail so in person the background is a very dark dark purple it's almost like a rich eggplant in my opinion and then that magnetic pigment is really really strong it's got this lovely aqua light green to it and then it easily shifts over to a violet and a blue on angles this one is also loaded with those UCC flakes so you're seeing them here as just lovely rainbow of color overall this one does dry down a bit on the matte side so I would recommend a really nice glossy top coat to smooth everything out and you'll be smooth sailing so um, after going in with a glossy top coat kind of heavy I had no texture with this one either and finally we have supernatural lacquer this is parhelion this is described as a light and airy periwinkle blue base with orange to green to gold chameleon glitters dark blue purple color shifting flakes large particle hollow dust and copper to gold shimmer this is inspired by parhelions, also known as sun dogs, which are a pair of brightly colored spots of light or mock suns that appear as a halo effect around the sun. This is priced at 12 and there is a 280 US bottle cap and 20 UK cap. So this one feels very jelly-like to me. It's very delicate, um, very light and airy, just like the description says. Um, for this one, I would recommend going in with three coats and you'll be just fine. I do want to note this is a delicate shade so if you've got a very prominent free edge like myself even on that third coat you'll see just a tiny bit of your free edge in bright lights so this is what i would describe as a very almost pale lavender but it does have that pinky but it does have that purple undertone to it so it is a periwinkle but i do feel like it has a lavender tone to it as well the shimmer here is very, very strong. You'll see a very nice reddish copper appearance overall. There's a very nice scattered sparkly effect overall as you're seeing here on that full hand shot. I would recommend a glossy top coat for this one as well to really exploit all that lovely shimmer and shift. So Polish Pickup will launch June 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern time and will run until June 10th at 11:59 eastern time i'll link you guys below to the shop as i believe wish listing should be opening um, today or tomorrow as well as my blog post if you want to see a more written review i do know this is typically information overload as well as it being the largest polish pickup video i've made thus far as always if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching